In this video, we are going to use sign rule to solve question. This is the second video, okay, under the sign rule, okay? I will put the description of the first video in the description what now, but so make sure you watch the first video. Now, here yeah, we are given a triangle A, B, C. This symbol is for the triangle, okay? Triangle A, B, C. Capital letter A is 12 degrees. Capital letter B is 7 degrees. Small a is 13.9 meters. We have to find B and A, okay? Now, whenever we're solving questions that involves triangle, we use capital letters for angles, okay? And we use small letters to represent what now? The side, okay? So let us draw this triangle. This is what now? An acute angle triangle. Why is it an acute angle? Because the angle is more than what now? Zero but less than what now, 90 degrees. So angles that has values more than what now is zero, but less than 90 degrees, we call them acute angles. So let's label, this is our what? This is our A. This is our what now? B. This is our what now? Our C. So let's label, let's give all the data supply to this what now? Triangle. Our A is given as what now? 54. So we have this space as what? 54 what now? Degrees. Our B is given as 67. This space is the same what now degrees. Our small a, the side that is facing this one is small a. Are you with me now? So this is small a. The one facing this angle, okay? This is because of what now? 13.9 what now? 9 meters, okay? Find a and b. How do we know that we're going to use sine rule to solve this triangle? Like I told you, we have two conditions. Like I said in the first video, we have two conditions, okay? Either of the conditions must be satisfied. Okay, before we can apply what now, sign rule, or we can use what now, sign rule to solve a question. Look at this. We have two angles given. Okay, one of the conditions says that we are given two angles. If two angles are given, and one side that is facing one of the given angles are known. Look at this. The side is given is facing angle A. Either the side is A. Or the side is here. Are you with me now? Once I have the side here or have it here, I can use what now? Sign rule. I repeat. We are given two angles and one side. That side given is now facing one of the angles. Okay? Are you with me now? If I put this 13.9 here, I can still apply what now? Sign rule. I can still use sign rule to solve this triangle because this side is given is facing B. This side must either face what now? Angle A or it face angle what now? Angle B. In that case, we can apply what now? Sign rule. So we have to find small b. So small b. So what's the sign rule? So we can give us small b. That will not be what now? B all over sign what now? Sign b, okay? Must be equal to what? Must be equal to what? A all over sign what now? Sign what? Sign a. Class, what we are looking for is always advisable to write it on the left hand side of the equation. What we are looking for b. We put B on this. Are you with me now? So let us interpret. Our B, we don't know you. All over sign of what our sign B? Sign B is says to what now? 67 equals to A. Our small A is what? 13 point what now? 9. All over sign what? Sign A is what? Sign 54. Are you with me, class? So we are going to be applying what I put on here. So what happened? Next thing, we'll cross multiply. So we have B sign 54. Okay. Equals what now? 13.9 times what? Sine 60 what? 67. So we make B the sum of formula. Are you with me in class? So we divide both sides by what now? We divide it by what? Sine 54. So I'm saying our B standing alone will be equals to what now? 13.9 divided by what now? Sine 67 all over sine what now? Sine 54 degrees. Are you with me? So yeah. So let that be B equals to, okay, so we have 13.9. Okay, 13.9 multiplied by what is sine 67? Before you do that, when you on your calculator, you make sure that this is in degree. Okay, look at it. It must be in degree. Degree. You punch the where you have D R G. Make sure that this space in what now is D. Okay. So we punch sine what now? Sine sine 67. 67 we give us what now? 0. Point, so we have 0. Point 0.92. 051 okay 9205 all over let's punch sine 54 sine 54 okay give us what 
zero point claro enfim zero point eight zero nine what now nine zero so we multiply we are multiplying thirteen point nine we are doing this together okay but by what now zero point nine two zero five this will give us one two point seven nine four nine five okay all about zero point eight zero nine zero so let's confirm let's confirm again thirteen okay thirteen point nine multiply by what now zero point nine two zero five so that's very correct. 12 point what now? 79495. It is very important that you do the confirmation, okay? So I will make a mistake. Then our result here divided by what now? 0 0.8090. So when we press our capital, we have 15 point what now? 3.815, okay? In what? Meters. Plus, don't approximate until you are told to do so, okay? You can write this thing out like this. It is when we are now asked to approximate to either two decimal places or are you with me now? Don't approximate until you are asked to do so. So here we'll be like this. Are you with me now? So we'll be like so that's why it's what now? 15.81576 blah blah blah. So we we'll, can just stay like this, okay? So our B is what now? 15.815. So what's the next one we have to find? We have to find what now? C. Now to find C here, to find C, to find C. So to find C, this is point as C. We need angle C. Are you with me now? To find any side, we need the angle of that side. So we have to find C. This is our C. So it means we need this angle. Now, to a triangle, the sum of angles in a triangle is what now? Is 180. So we can get this C. So it means our what now? Our C plus angle 54 plus angle what now? 67 plus what now? 180 degrees. Because the sum of angles in a triangle is what now? Is 180. So, so let's add 54 plus our 67. Give us what now? 1 to 2. So our C, I will see plus what now? 1 to 1 equals to what? 180 degrees. So our I will see plus what? 180 minus what? 1 to 1. So when we point, we have 180 minus 1 to 1. This will give us what now? 50 what? 59. So it means our angle what? Angle C equals to 59 what now? 59 degrees. Are you with me? So we have 59 degrees for angle C. So to get this small C, that will not be small C. All of our sine of 59, I can either use any of these, but let me use the A as it's given. Class, are you with me? So let's go to this. Let's go to this. So we have, okay, we have 54 here. So can I wipe this one off? So here, we're not having what now? C. So to find C now, we're having C all of our sine of C equals to, let me use A, okay? A all of our what now? Sine of what now? Sine of A. I can either use A, since I've gotten what now? B. I can use I can use any, but let us stick to what now to A because A was given. So which implies we now have what now? Let me wipe this one off. Are you with me? So let me wipe this one off. So that will not give us what now. C, our C, our house of five, we don't know you. All of our sign of C is now sign what now? Sign 59. Because our C is size 59. Because to A, our A is what? 13.9. All of our, our and A is what now? Sign what? It's what now? 54. Are you with me, class? Okay. So size 54. 24. So we're going to apply here. We now we have been C sine what now? 54. Okay. Equals to we're going to apply. Okay. 13.9. Okay. By what now? Sine what now? Sine 59. So we we'll make this C sort of formula. We're looking for C. So it means our C will be equal to what now? 13.9. Multiply by what now? Sine 59. All over what now? Sine 50 what now? 4 degrees. Okay. So we wipe the space off. Are you with me? So let's continue. Well, are you with me? So we have what now? Sine 59. So we we'll point sine 59. Sine 59. Sine 59. Give us 0. Point. So here we are having C goes to what now? 13.9. Multiply by what now? 0. 0.85. 0. 0.8512. 0. 0.8512. Okay. All of our all of us, sign 54. Sign 54. Sign 4 is 0. Point, 0. Point 80, okay? 90. Let's confirm the first one here first, okay? Sign 59. Sign 59. You have to be very careful. Confirmation is key. Sign 59 give us 
0 0.8572. 0 0.85. You see that? 0 0.8572. This is 7. 8572. Okay? So we have 0.8572. So we multiply. So we have been 13 point what now? 13.9 multiplied by 0 0.8572. That will give us what? 1.91501. One, one, now, in all over 0 0.8090. So, once we divide, divided by what now? 0 0.8090. Our answer to that will be equal to 14.728 what now? So, our C, small c, equals to what now? 14.728. Eight what now? Meter. So last, this is the concluding video on how we can use sine rule to solve question. Okay, to so, an acute angle what now triangle. I have two videos. The first one I'll put in the description down in this video. Make sure you watch that one. Okay. Once you're done watching this, make sure you watch the second video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Share the videos with your colleagues and with your friends. Okay. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, just click the red subscribe button below this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.